Okay, everybody, today we're going to learn about cold reading, warm reading, and hot reading. Now, what exactly is cold reading? Cold reading is giving the appearance of being psychic by knowing certain things called Barnum Statements. Now, what Barnum Statements are, Barnum Statements are uh, sentences that sound specific to one person but actually apply to a bunch of different people. An example of a Barnum Statement is, you have a great deal of unused capacity that you haven't used to its full potential. Or another one could be, uh, you don't have a scar on your right knee, do you? And a lot of people do have a scar on their right knee. And even if you're wrong about that, you could say, wait, maybe it's my right, your left. And like I said, this statement sounds specific to a lot of people, but actually applies to a bunch of people because, you know, a lot of ki people got uh, hurt in school at an early age and have scars on their knees. And uh, what is warm reading? Now, warm reading is uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit trickier, and there are a few things that you can do to have a good warm reading. Warm reading is doing cold reading, but based on certain things. Like you know, you can tell if a person is married by if they're wearing a wedding ring. Yeah, I bet you're saying no shit. But like also, people who wear rings around their neck, that usually symbolizes the death of a close one, typically a spouse. And, uh, you know, um, if they have a sunburn or weathered features, they come from a uh, uh, tropical climate. And if they're pale, they spend a lot of time indoors, you know, and stuff like that. And uh, if they have very rough, hard hands, they do a lot of manual labor. If they have soft hands, they, you know, they're, they don't, obviously don't work as much. And these are all things that you can pick up from the manner of dress, jewelry they're wearing, type of clothes, how old they are, stuff like that. That's what warm reading is. And uh, also, you will be able to dig out nuggets of information that will seem like a revelation to the person if they're not privy to this information. Like, one uh, one thing is, is that you can say, uh, I'm sensing your father uh, died, of, died recently. Uh, how did he die? And if they go, he was killed, uh, you know, that gives you a certain hook to hook into. Because if, if they say he was killed, that means he didn't die of natural causes, which means he was either murdered or died in a car accident. There are tons of other different ways to be killed, but those are the two main ones. So if you, if somebody says, oh yes, my father was killed in 93, you could say it wasn't a car accident, was it? And they'll be like, oh my God, how did you know that? So that's warm reading. Now, I don't do much of hot reading, and what hot reading is, is uh, obtaining uh, different sources of information on a person from a third party. So, you know, say you see a hot girl down, the, uh, down at the other end of the bar. You ask the bartender, hey, what's, what's that girl's name? And he's like, oh, that's Mary. She's from Michigan. So right then, that's a form of hot rating. You got information about Mary from the bartender. And, you know, now you know her name is Mary and she's from Michigan. And you can go up and you can display that information cleverly and it'll be like, oh my god, how do you know that? Are you psychic? And uh, that is the definition of cold reading, warm reading, and hot reading. I'm Paul Pasadena. Thank you very much.